is our SA1 shuttle for DC control. It has adjustable acceleration and braking. Four detectors are used to tell the SA1 where the train is. These can be A.1 infrared detectors or read switches. I have labelled the detectors according to the terminal they connect to on the SA1. Detectors at D2 and D4 cause the SA1 to stop the train. The detectors at D1 and D5 cause the SA1 to start slowing the train. When the train is detected by D1 or D5, the red LED will light on the SA1 board to show the train is slowing. When the train stops, the red and green LEDs flash. At the end of the flashing, the red LED lights for a short time, then the green LED lights as the train accelerates away. The shuttle can be used without the slowdown detectors, or with the slowdown detector at just one end, or with a central slowdown detector linked to both D1 and D5. Although the SA1 will work fine with read switches, the Air.1 infrared detectors have some advantages. You do not need to fit a magnet to the underside of the train. You can change the length of the train and the leading edge of the train will still stop at the stop detectors. The SA1 and the detectors can be powered from either 12 volt DC or 16 volt AC. Each of the A.1s is connected to the power supply. Terminal 1 to the positive, Terminal 6 to the negative, and Terminal 2 is the connection that goes to the SA1 to tell it the train's arrived. After reaching the slowdown detector, the train does not slow to a stop, but instead slows to a minimum speed, so that it will always reach the stop detector. There are four adjustments on the SA1 board. This is the minimum speed, the maximum speed, the rate of acceleration and braking, and that's the wait time at each end. The further anti-clockwise you turn the wait speed, the longer the wait time. The longer you make the wait time, the longer the flashes will be. It's now set to the maximum time. The best way to set up the train speed is to turn the minimum, the maximum and the rate of acceleration braking all clockwise. This stops the train. First thing to do is to Adjust the minimum speed so the train just goes into crawl. Once you've got that to the slowest speed it will reliably run at, you can now adjust the maximum speed provided the green LED is lit. With these adjustments, the train slows very rapidly when it reaches a slow detector and accelerates very quickly when it departs. To get a nice smooth slowing down, all you need to do now is to adjust the acceleration braking control so that the train slows down to its minimum speed just before it stops. 